So if you're wondering how do I get the most bang for my buck out of this Nikon camera and why my videos look better than other Nikon videos, it's because you want to make sure your Nikon is updated. And when I mean updated, you want to make sure your Nikon, whether that's a 5000, a 7000 or 3000 model, is that it needs to have the latest firmware. And how you do that is all you really need to do is you just need to go on a simple Google search. You go to Google and then you punch in Nikon firmware, not hack, but update. And then it is the first link. It's the Nikon download center you want to go to download center dot Nikon IMG image LIB library dot com. You click on that and what you need to do is you need to select your camera that you use. So in this case, I'm trying to see whether or not my Nikon D5200 needs an update, a firmware update. So I click on digital SLR camera and I go and look through the list. Do you have a 5000, a 5100, 5500 maybe, 5600, 7000? In this case, I click the Nikon D5200 and you want to click on these three tabs. You want to click on firmware. This is where you want to click and then it will show you the latest firmware. You don't want to worry about data control this, but what you're looking for is D5200 firmware and as well as the version that the camera, the newest model of the firmware that Nikon has released. And this was released in 2015 and the Nikon was released in around 2012, 2013. So this is the most up-to-date firmware that the D5200 does have to offer but if you're anywhere with the D55 or 56 you might also want to check the when the firmware was released so you click on download page and you can see what does this firmware do to your camera from 1.02 to 1.03 and as you can see here reduced noise in video and that is so important when you're shooting slow motion 2080 by 720p and there's also issues with freezing and other stuff that you definitely want this firmware update. And this is provided by Nikon. This is not some third party. And all you need to do is just read this license agreement. And it's essentially to grant that you're using this to back up your software. You're not using it maliciously, blah, 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 blah. And then you want to, after you read that, you click accept, click download. And that will lead you to the download folder of wherever your download file is. And if you're in my case, you would want to drag that onto the desktop. So know that you have the bin file before you start anything. You need to make sure you go to your format card, your memory card, and you want to click yes. And essentially formatting what it does is it clears and wipes the entire SD card. So make sure if you have any saved files, put that into somewhere safe that you want to store, whether that's your C drive, your computer, external drive, whatever. So you click yes. And I also like to clean my image sensor while we're at it. Now that the memory card is formatted and there's nothing on that memory card, what I want to do now is I turn off the camera and I'll take out the SD card and I put that into my computer or laptop. And now that I'm on my computer or laptop, all I want to do is I want to pull up my SD card and I want to either copy and paste, you can copy and paste, or you can essentially just drag it straight onto your SD card. Now that bin folder is on your SD card and you want to safely eject it. Now that your SD card has the firmware update, before I even put in the SD card, you want to make sure if your Nikon is fully updated or even if you even need this update is you hit menu, you go to the setup menu and you go all the way down, all the way down and it'll say firmware version. In this case, I already have 1.03, but if you're using a Nikon D5200, 53, 55, it might be 1.01 1 .01 or 1.00. 1 so that means you don't have the latest firmware version and the number also corresponds to whether or not what model you have and whether or not there's a firmware update. So these numbers might not be right for you, but I'm using particularly a Nikon D5200. So I know the latest firmware version is going to be 1.03. 
but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to put in my SD card with a bin folder, turn on my camera, hit menu, go back to uh, firmware version. And as you can see, if this camera was not updated, that bin folder would have have been read and it would have said update. So all you need to do is click update, make sure your battery's charged because it's gonna be downloading the firmware onto the Nikon. And all you really need to do afterwards is you wanna make sure you turn off your camera, wait to five seconds, turn it back on. And you wanna click menu again, and you wanna get rid of that bin folder. So you wanna go to back to your setup menu, you want to format that memory card, you want to clean your image sensor. And now your SD card is completely clean of that bin folder. And if you go back into the setup menu, your firmware now should be updated and your camera should be updated to the latest firmware and it should be 1.03 or 1. Point whatever the newest model of your Nikon camera is. And this applies to any camera. Like firmware updates are a common thing, but people often forget to, or they're not aware that your camera might need certain updates after the product's been launched. So the company gives a firmware update so it doesn't have to go and individually return all its cameras. And you can get things like whether issues like with the battery or like better noise reduction, firmware updates is what keeps your camera up to date, as well as why my videos might seem a little more cleaner or crisper than yours. My name is Peter. You're watching Broke Visionary Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something.